Prime Minister Narendra Modi discussed climate change and the use of clean energy with former Late Show host David Letterman on Nat Geo's Years of Living Dangerously. PM Modi talked about India's vision and the role it aims to play to fight the global issue of climate change. The Prime Minister said that if the world helped him with technology and resources, he would be the first to completely switch to clean energy. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh has said that security arrangements at the western border are strong. The Home Minister interacted with security personnel at Barmer in Rajasthan and told them that the country is fully capable to reply to any challenge. The Union Home Minister assessed the security arrangements and border posts of the BSF. Pakistan's complicity in abetting terror in India again confirmed after Indian forces recover a catch of Pakistani ordnance factory made arms and ammunition. The cashier was recovered from four terrorists eliminated by the army while trying to infiltrate from Pak-occupied Kashmir in Norgam sector on the 6th of October. Air Chief Marshal Arup Raha has said the recent terror attacks on the army and air base are stark reminders of the troubled times the country lives in. Addressing the function to celebrate the Indian Air Force's 84th anniversary at the Hindon Air Base, he said new security measures have been installed to counter any kind of such threat. The Supreme Court constituted a fresh bench of three judges to hear an age-old dispute related to the sharing of Kaveri waters between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Earlier, a bench comprising Justices Deepak Mishra and UU Lalit had agreed to the councils representing both the sides that the matter had to be heard by a three-judge bench. The situation across Kashmir remained by and large peaceful, although a few stray stone-pelting incidents were reported yesterday. As a precautionary measure, curfew remained imposed in few police stations of Srinagar city. There is no curfew elsewhere in the valley. The markets are opened across the Kashmir Valley. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will release the 15-volume complete works of Dindal Sampurna Vangme in New Delhi today. This is a part of RSS ideologue Dindal Upadhyay's extensive writings on India's border policy. They are mostly his writings in his lifetime in Pakistan, China. Indian Economy, Employment, Lord Krishna, Buddhism, Technology, Indian Women and Indian Culture. BJP MLA from Punjab, Navjot Kaur Sidhu resigned from the primary membership of the party. Her resignation comes a month after her husband Navjot Singh Sidhu formally quit the BJP on September 14th. Her resignation was accepted by Union Minister Vijay Sampla, who is also Punjab BJP President and State BJP Secretary Vineet Joshi. Bangladeshi security forces killed 11 members of an Islamist militant group, blaming them for the attack on the cafe in Dhaka in July, in which 22 people were killed. The Home Minister told reporters that the militants, believed to be members of Jamaatul Mujahideen in Bangladesh, were killed in three raids on militant hideouts on the outskirts of the capital. In Yemen, more than 150 people were killed and more than 525 were injured when airstrikes hit a funeral ceremony, with Houthi rebels blaming the attack on the Saudi-led coalition. Yesterday's strike was one of the deadliest attacks since the bombing campaign began in support of Yemeni President Abed Rabo Mansour Hadi. A Russian resolution calling for a separation of moderate and extremist forces in Syria but making no mention of a bombing halt in the besieged city of Aleppo has been defeated in the UN Security Council. The draft put forward by Russia failed to get the minimum nine yes votes required. In yesterday's vote, the draft resolution got four yes votes, nine no votes and two abstentions. Hurricane Matthew has killed at least 10 people in the United States as it is moving along the country's southeast coast. Thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes and more than a million are left without power. The storm also brought heavy flooding to the historic city of Charleston, South Carolina. Meanwhile, in Haiti, the death toll due to the hurricane has soared to almost 900. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has vowed to remain in the race after prominent members of his party withdrew their support and called for him to drop out following news of a recording of him making lewd comments about women. Three Republican members of the Senate publicly announced they will not vote for Trump and former rival Carly Fiorina called on him to withdraw. Morocco's ruling Islamists have beaten their liberal rivals in parliamentary elections five years after sweeping to power following Arab Spring-inspired protests. Prime Minister Abdelila Benkirane's Islamist Justice and Development Party took 125 seats out of 395 in the polls, the Interior Ministry said after all ballots were counted. 
In cricket, India to resume its first innings from 267 for three on day two of the third and final test match against New Zealand in Indore today. Skipper Virat Kohli roared back to form with a superbly crafted century to take India to a comfortable 267. He was complimented brilliantly by Ajinkya Rahane.